go 50 and 0. And that's not a lot knock at Mayweather, but um, you know what I mean? I, I'm just saying it doesn't work in this sport. It doesn't work. Anything is possible. So no disrespect whatsoever to his opponent. Hamza, how about you? I mean, do you at all wish maybe this news hadn't got out that you have two fights lined up? Because uh, it, it seems like it's put a, a big target on your back. <laughs> now I'm here. I'm going to smash these guys. <laughs> you know, I'm ready for everything. Like Dana said, not this, uh, you know, in the boxing, brother, like they go five, six fights. Why you think about that? This is disrespect. One day they do six fights, but I can do ten fights one day. On Fight Island, you were kind of like the big star, the hero. Now I've seen you have haters. People say you're cocky, you lined up two fights, so you know, well, you don't deserve this hype. What do you think when you hear that? Are, do you welcome the haters, or do you wish they would give you more respect? <laughs> it doesn't matter for me. It's more money when people look at me. And the other big one, of course, is the comparisons to Habib. Those are coming out all the time. Do you respect that? I mean, obviously, Habib's a champion and a superstar. Do you like that, or do you wish people would stop with the comparisons to Habib and, and let you do your own thing? I'm Habib, uh, not Habib. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not Habib. I'm Hamza. My, my history is my history. His history his history. I'm going to do my history. Uh, nice. Gerald, I want to ask you, because you've been asked nonstop about this. I mean, it's all anybody wants to ask. So, And you said, hey, I get it. I understand why they're doing it totally. But having to talk about it over and over and over, is this starting to get annoying and maybe, like, a little bit personal for you? No, not at all, especially when you just ask it right now again. No, I'm just <laughs> no but I've been saying, I, you know, I, I take it as somewhat disrespectful. Yeah, because uh, I feel like uh, Hamzat's looking past me a little bit. But, again... I don't blame him. I don't blame Dana. If I was those two guys, they'd be doing the exact same thing. So they're doing what they're supposed to do. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm coming in. I'm the crafty vet. I'm a tough guy, and I'm going to show them that you, this time you bit off more than you can chew. Nice. What and, do you make you know of this? And you know what's true, too, John, on this thing. When you look at this, I'm actually looking at the paper that's up here. And, and Gerald has a 94% finish rate. You know, he has a 100% finish rate. The reason we made this fight is because it's a good fight. This, this is, this is a, a real fight. You know, and, and if this kid does get by his next two opponents, you know what I mean? It, it is this Gerald isn't a a layup, a stepping stone, a oh let's just overlook this guy to get to Damian Maya. There's none of that. We put on real. This is a real fight with a real guy. Yeah. So, you know, I, I get how people would think that, but it's it's not true. It's total bullshit. <laughs> total media bullshit. Uh, you know, we have a lot of that. Uh, <laughs> But, Jared, I want to, what, do you, what do you make of his first two fights? I mean, I'm sure you watched the tape on him. Uh, I mean, were you impressed by what you saw on film, or did you think you know, that, that was just a result of the matchups he had? Uh, look, I'm expecting him to be tough. I'm expecting him to try and oppose his will and be very mentally strong. But in any of his fights that I've seen, he hasn't met real resistance. And I think that's going to be a, a big test. I don't care how many yeah, amateur how many fights you have. you lose your fights? You are like uh, in the shadow, like. What is friend uh, to Connor? What is his name? Arteon Lobo. <laughs> you have the same share, dog. How many times you lose your fights? Well, I've lost quite a few yeah. fights. 31 and 13. You, you, you think uh, you're black belt? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, when you Jack fight Harmons, tough guys, Jack, Hansen, Jack Bernard Hermanson, he didn't know how a uh, black belt. Why he, he choke, choke you out? Sometimes yeah. you lose when you fight tough well, guys, man. Who give you You'll find black out belt. I have blue belt. I'm going to choke you out. You can go ahead and try there, buddy. You have to give work. me your black belt to, to me. <laughs> All right, if you choke me out, I'll find a black belt, give it to you. How about that? If I choke you out, you will finish with this sport. Okay, if I double leg you, do I get like a wrestling trophy or something? If you double leg me, <laughs> try it. Okay, I will. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Let's move on to Cowboy well, real quick. Um, sort of a, an interesting dynamic here. You're saying that you don't understand why he's disrespected by you, but then you also say that he shouldn't be a black belt. What exactly about it, what, why don't you think he should be a black belt? And are you surprised that you guys have had this sort of rocky uh, back and forth so far? Hey man, if somebody like how like white belt, they choke you out, how are you going to be a white black belt? How are you, it's possible. For me, it's not possible because I did hard work for get the blue belt three years. Yeah. <laughs> how he get that? I, I imagine, I think, like how many years I have to take the, this black belt? <laughs> And then, obviously, this is twice now that you've had two fights booked back to back. A lot of people are wondering if you could maybe climb the middleweight division and the welterweight division at the same time. Is that something you want to do, or is it just coincidence you've had two divisions at once both times? Hey, man, doesn't matter. 
I said yesterday, if my coach said to me, go with Brock Lesnar, I'm going to go with him. Doesn't matter which way. Outside, if something happens, something, you're going to say, I come away in you. No, brother, you're going to go with this guy. Cool. And uh, last one for me, for Gerald. Uh, I know yesterday you spoke about this again on the media day, but I wanted to just clarify. You said there was a bit of a run-in with Hamza at, at the host hotel earlier this week. Can you just explain what happened? Yeah, I couldn't really understand because we're all wearing masks. And he said something about I like talking. I just said, yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to him, and he walked away. He said, apparently my, uh, one of my buddies heard him say something about he was going to smash my face. But, again, trying to talk trash to somebody while you're wearing masks yeah, and walking in a different direction. Because I say that, I'm going to smash your face. How are you going to stop I'm that? I'm sure you think. How are you going to stop that, yo? I'm probably uh, going to beat you up is what's going to happen. You, you and look at my thing, fight? You, you look at my last fight? No punches, like, how many punches are he face to his face? His face? Dude, I can you understand. You had a little bit bigger, but... I can't understand what you're saying. Me, uh, Speak clearly or something, all right? First of all, the whole black belt stuff, a black belt doesn't really matter. It matters what you do. And I'm but you talk about the pure BJJ, like, you like special BJJ guy. Yeah, because I'm tired of the most that. submissions. If somebody choke you out, like, you have to be go train harder at them. Not talk about, like, I am jiu-jitsu, I am better than him. What the, what the fuck is that, man? I, I have tied for the most submissions in the middleweight division. That's what that is. So, yeah, I think I deserve a black belt. Okay. We will see who you are. Hey, Cowboy, I'm just wondering how irritated you are that uh, you've been here for years. UFC never double booked you, and now they're double booking this guy right off the, right off the bat. Oh, no, I'm not irritated. <laughs> I, I like this son of a bitch. He's got a good attitude, man. He wants to fight everybody. It's crazy. I like the, I'll smash him, I'll smash him, I'll smash him. I mean, fuck with that mindset. You better be out there smashing everybody. So uh, I like it. But no, I don't. Uh, my fights, uh, I don't just smash people, so I uh, get beat up sometimes. <laughs> so I, Dana, I've tried. He's like, man, I, we got to see how your fight goes, you know? So uh, who knows? I, but no, I'm not upset. Good. He, he got it going, so. <laughs> Did I see uh, you're adding, uh, like, a merchandise? Question for Gerald. Uh, your opponent, Hansmat, he's never had to fight in round three in both the amateur and pro ranks. Is part of the game plan trying to test him into the later rounds in the deep waters and see how far his gas tank can take him? Hopefully I can finish him before that. With the double leg and then ground and pound? Exactly. Hey, man, I have outside. One hour, two hour fights. It doesn't matter, brother. It's three, three rounds is nothing for me. <laughs> and when you got booked with him, what was, what was the first thoughts? Did you know much about G3 going into the, uh, the fight when you got booked his name, told his name from the boss? What? What, what was the question? Did you, did you know him going into this fight? Did you know who he was before you were fighting him? No. I don't know me. I, I look at it the last fight only, because they, they, they get the knockdown and I, this guy is finishing. He lost his last fight. I want to beat somebody better than him, but now him, now I'm going to smash him. Then we take next. And now you're here fighting in the fight capital of the world, but there's no crowds. I'm sure when you were dreaming about this for a long time in your life, you expected the bright light Sin City. Does that... Do you think about that at all going into these next two fights that you have booked here in Las Vegas? I look at all fights in Las Vegas. <laughs> like because I, Muhammad Ali was his fighting. It's more Muhammad, Mike Tyson was fighting. I want to fight this every day here. Uh, all division I'm going to finish here in Las Vegas. Uh, one quick follow-up for Cowboy. I, I know you said you like, uh, you like Hamzat's attitude. He wants to fight everybody. I, I was told that he wanted to fight Kevin Holland yesterday, and you were uh, in the middle of that somewhere. What? What happened there? Oh, they just had a little disagreement in the hallway. I think someone was, I don't know, nothing. But uh, just told him we're fighting on Saturday, man. Don't be crazy. Don't, don't. Uh... I was thinking he's, he was working in the hotel, like clean the room. I said, to him, go <laughs> clean the, my room. He said, no. I said, then I've been angry, you know. Does that mean Kevin Holland's on your list now as well? Who is this guy? I don't know this guy. I never seen him before. Dana, one more right. Yeah. Uh, I think people are really looking forward to Tyron and Colby being in the same room at a press conference. Uh, why are they doing media separately? 